My name is Pelin Siavuz, and um, I was born in the States, but then I moved to Istanbul, Turkey, and basically lived my whole childhood there. But then I moved to Boston, and yeah. Hello, my name is Brian Washington Jr. Um, I'm from Boston, raised all my life, and I've been here, Boston native, yeah. Um, so I started with um, singing. I would sing a lot and um, I would basically try to accompany myself on like a 34 key, like mini keyboard, unweighted. It was like, yeah, I would try to teach myself, play by ear and stuff. And then um, after like my teacher seeing my determination, told my mom to audition me for the conservatory in Istanbul and then I got in and started playing classical piano and basically with Berkeley City Music like after like five years of playing piano I started when I was 10 and um, I started playing jazz R&B neo soul pop Motown and other styles here at Berkeley City Music and in Boston my musical journey, um, it had started in the church back when I was around four years old. I remember I used to sit in the corner of the church and I would watch like other drummers play, especially my older cousin, um, Anthony. I would watch him play and I would just kind of, kind of way just study, study him and get to learn and pick up every little thing here or there. And you know, as those years went by, I would just sit in the corner and just watch and then, you know, sometimes they let me hop on during offering or sometimes they let me hop on for maybe one little praise and worship song. But other than that, that was my journey and I started in the church and ever since then, um, once I got into my middle school, that's when I really got kind of, it was the Orenberger, I started getting into jazz a little bit more and more. But um, I really started strictly going at jazz once I got to Boston Arts Academy in my ninth grade. And I've been playing jazz and other genres ever since. Um, I really, really love Keith Jarrett. Um, I love how he's like, his like improv and like musical expression, like it's so lyrical yet so technical at the same time. And yeah, he's been one of my idols. And also I love um, Jesus Molina, Artatum. I love playing Artatum's transcriptions. And of course, like study Jesus Molina's solos as well. Um, I also play a lot of classical, um, like Rachmaninoff and like Chopin. And let me think, there's a lot. I also love Hayato Samino and um, what else? Um, Yuja Wong, of course. Martha Argerich, and hmm, oh, of course, transcribing Bud Powell and John Coltrane. I love them. Um, some drummers that I study and I like to follow, I would say the three main ones right now have, for me has been Sticks Taylor, Devin Taylor, he plays for Justin Bieber. Um, we the band, what a huge band that I love to watch and I enjoy them. I also study for jazz and um, just technique and just getting around the drums a lot. I've been watching a, a lot of Marcus Gilmore, especially. Um, it's very, very smooth and very clean with the way he plays. And also I've been watching a lot of uh, Two Saint Lipton and he's also uh, a big pop um, drummer. And he plays fantastically well. Um, ever since I was a little kid, like around like maybe two, three, I remember I was like, I saw Michael Jackson, like I would watch his videos, listen to his like um, music, read his biography and I was, I loved him and I thought he was really, really cool and I wanted to be a musician like him and I think that like the first time I saw him, I decided that I wanted to be a musician and I wanted to like have a cool like stage presence and like perform and I think music is a way people can connect without having to like say something verbally like I think like let's say for example you put out an album and there might be someone that like will listen to that album and connect with you without even having to like see them or talk to them I think music is really special in that way where like it can fix someone or 
maybe break someone, I don't know. But I think, I, I don't know, like, ever since I started doing it, even like getting on stage, I just even the feeling of nerves, it just makes me more excited to push and it's just, it's special to me. I, I, I can't break from it and, hmm, I don't know, it's, it's a lot, it's, yeah, let me, hmm. Thank you. Joy, yeah. Excitement, and it made me, yeah, um, it made me connect with my friends, my peers, my teachers, and even with strangers that watch me perform. Yeah, it's special. Um, I would say, well, music, that's a deep question. Um, um, I would say music has been, you know, before number one, which is God for me, I would say music has been number one for me for a long time. I would say, you know, growing up in a black community, um, a lot of things have been placed on me as if like I had to play basketball or football or anything else with that has to do with sports. And I feel like, you know, I didn't really have to do that. And music really gave me that option and gave me that choice to make something out of that and hopefully strive for a career and just push myself. And I feel like music has really brought that drive out of me. And out of everything I've done, I feel like music has really pushed that out of me. I've always felt like, you know, I've done okay or pretty good at things, but music really makes me want to strive to just do better every single day. And, you know, that's why I just continue to push myself because I believe in myself and I believe what music can do for me.